This morning on NBC's Today Show, former President George W. Bush sat down with his daughter Jenna Bush Hagar to discuss his favourite hobby and his new exhibit, The Art of Leadership, going on display at his presidential library. The most interesting clip might be him talking about his relationship with Russian, Russian President Vladimir Putin. Take a look. Uh, Vladimir is a, uh, uh, a person who in many ways views the U.S. as an enemy. And although he wouldn't say that, uh, I felt that uh, he viewed the world as either the U.S. benefits and Russia loses or vice versa. Mm -hmm. I tried, of course, to spell him of that notion. You could tell from the very beginning that he was interested in power. Yeah, um, yeah. And there's an anecdote that you've written about that is symbolic of yeah. that. <laughs> well, uh, as you know, my dear... <laughs> Our dear dog, mm -hmm. Barney, who had a special spot in my heart. I introduced him to Putin. Putin kind of dissed him. Like, you really call that a dog. A year later, a, your mom and I go to visit uh, Vladimir and his dacha outside of Moscow, and he says, you'd like to meet my dog. Out bounds his huge hound, obviously much bigger than a Scottish Terrier, and Putin looks at me and says, bigger, stronger, and faster than Barney. And you kind of thought, is this symbolic of what you well, think? Well, I just, I took it in. I didn't react. I just said, wow, you know, anybody who thinks my dog is bigger than your dog is an interesting character. <laughs> and that painting kind of reflects that. Ah, uh, Sabrina, I just love it. You don't offend Barney. <laughs> Y'all look after Barney. You gotta respect Barney. I love this so much. Can we just please take a look at one more clip? Roll it. So you started off with a self-portrait. Yeah. You think you got to the soul of... Of you? <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, you're going to have to ask other people who know me better, such as yourself. This is your good friend, Tony Blair. Yeah. Has he seen this portrait? I don't think he has. <laughs> no telling how these people are going to react when they see their portrait. I, I think I told Tony I was painting him, and he kind of brushed it off, so to speak. Uh, <laughs> no art pun intended there? There was, there was an art pun. Okay, anyway, good job. Uh, was he shocked? Yeah, I think it might have been a proper reaction. He said, you painted my portrait? I hope he likes it. I, I like it. I like it because it, it conveys a uh, compassionate person and a strong person. And you got an art instructor and you had one requirement from her. She said, what's your goal? And I said, well, there's a Rembrandt trapped in this body. <laughs> <laughs> your job is to unleash him. <laughs> so has she? Uh, well, uh, time will tell. Sabrina, Jimmy Carter's been doing the media circuit lately, and when, th when you think about how presidents use their post-presidential career to do something, whether it's the Clinton Foundation or whatever, what does this tell you about the guy? <laughs> well, I think with, with George W. Bush, it's kind of interesting because he's kept away from the public eye a great deal uh, since the end of his presidency. Obviously, the public, uh, by the end of his presidency, was considerably unfavorable or viewed his, his administration as unfavorable. I think he wanted to kind of have some time to himself and, and stay away. This is a much lighter interview. You know, he, it's, he's just talking about his paintings, which were, of course, leaked and have been reported on. Uh, so it's not like a book tour, like the one that Jimmy Carter is going on. Uh, at the same time, sometimes people wonder if it is, in fact, by accident or if there are some sort of political motives for it. You know, Jimmy Carter's grandson is running for office. There's a potential that Jeb Bush, uh, George W. Bush's brother, might be running for president in 2016. And of course, with the Clintons, we all know uh, what the implications of that are. So it's, it's a little hard to say if it's just a fun, frivolous way of getting back into the public eye, or if it's a way of kind of scoping out the scene and, and seeing if you could be a good advocate for a family member who's going to be seeking a higher office.